This case keeps getting stranger. Have the police absolutely bungled this? You would be forgiven for thinking so, Patrick. Thank you for having me on the show. Um, the problem you've got here is that some really private, confidential health information has been disclosed by the police. And in doing that, they have created a completely different line of inquiry for the media and for the public, which is distracting, actually, from what the public want, which is to find Nicola, uh, the mother of two children. So they've, again, in my view, scored an own goal. And that own goal is distracting everybody because it's an ethical debate now. Mm -hmm. I mean, why do we need to know that um, Nicola was going through the menopause? Every woman on this planet goes oh. through the menopause. It's just unbelievable. I've I, never I would, heard I would argue, detail. though, Martin, so, so it's important to say now that the family have come out and said, well, they gave the police permission to do this now. But the reason, of course, is because there's been massive press scrutiny and massive public scrutiny into the ins and outs of it. Look, we can argue about that all day long, but you would... I would have thought anyway, think that the people who should have known are maybe not you and me, maybe not Joe Bloggs down the pub, but actually the people who were diving, looking, and even the head of that independent dive team, I said it would have changed the way he approached that search. There would be more chance of having found Nicola if he'd have known that. And that seems unforgivable. Well, again, we have to go back to how did the dive team end up being... Um searching the river wire because it appears that the family asked for help rather than the police and therefore the police you could argue didn't have to brief the search team but you're absolutely right what they've done by releasing that information yesterday which is completely unprecedented it, to my knowledge of uh, a missing person case like this is one they've destroyed her reputation uh, at the stroke of the pen secondly they have started a huge debate about um, whether a woman with menopause basically we're blaming vi victim blaming here and, and that has distracted everybody from the key issue. So, yes, if uh, Paul, the diver, had mm. been told about this information, it would have changed his tactics because he was looking for someone who the police had said fell in the river. The strong mm. suggestion from the details released yesterday is that she might have jumped in the river, and that completely changes your underwater search tactics. So I do get the point about the dive team. The police yeah. would say we didn't invite them and the family did, and we're not obliged to disclose information. But you've already hit the nail on the head. This information, if it had been released in the first day of Nicola going missing, would have completely changed the dialogue, the coverage, and the perception of this case. And yeah. why they've done it three weeks later, I have no idea. All it's done, as you said, good expression, they've thrown Nicola and her family under the bus, they've destroyed her reputation uh, and started a national debate uh, about the menopause, which is not helpful when we're trying to find the mother of two children. No, exactly. And you know what it looks like? For me, anyway, and maybe this is unfair. We've gone to Lancashire Police for a comment. We're waiting to hear back on this. And maybe this is unfair, but I can only give my honest opinion about what this looks like from me, is that there was a bit of a ham-fisted approach initially. There wasn't coordination. And what have we had in the last two days? We've had them throwing the public under the bus, going, oh, you were giving us a load of duff information. Well, I'm sorry, but there was a massive appeal for information. And you're always going to get sickos and weirdos out there in any case like this. And one would imagine the police would just have to deal with that. And then on top of that now, you've got Nicola, her personal reputation being thrown under the bus. This, to me, looks as though the police are absolutely bricking it and thinking, what can we do to swerve our, our initial mistakes here? Your takes on that? Well, by victim blaming uh, her, they are almost protecting their own reputation, and that's already been said uh, in the last 24 hours. Um, there's, as I keep saying, the last time I spoke to you, I said this, the Lancashire police are doing things that are not normal in cases like this. We keep going into rabbit holes that I've never seen before. Uh, I mean, as you said in your uh, opening speech, we went eight days without a press conference, which left a huge void. So your TikTok detectives, your armchair detectives filled that void because the police weren't there telling the public what they wanted to know. Um, and then when they do come out and do a press conference, they completely throw a swerve ball, such as she's vulnerable. Well, if they'd left it there, that would have been fine. They could have said she suffered from depression. That isn't throwing her under the bus. It's mm. a medical fact. But by actually going into massive details about drink abuse, alcohol abuse and the menopause, I don't understand what they're trying to achieve. It doesn't help this inquiry move forward. It destroys Nicola's reputation and I imagine has alienated the family.